Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the tool giver part. I'm going to make it so that whenever you touch this part, you'll be able to give the player a tool. You can use this to make things such as weapon pads, doors that give players weapons when they enter an area, or anything else that'll matter where you want to give a player a tool when they touch a part. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get your tool. I don't want to make a tool right now, so I'm just going to go search for a sword and get a sword tool out of the toolbox. However, you would just do this with whatever tool you want to give the player. If you have a gun or say a sword or some sort of item in your game. I'm just going to take the Roblox default sword tool. Now, once you get your sword tool, whatever your tool is, you're going to want to put it into server storage. Next, I'm going to insert a new part into workspace. Now, however you want this to look, it's up to you. I'm going to make mine a sort of semi-transparent door that the player can walk through like that. Now, once you've done that, you are going to insert a script inside of the part. Now, once you have the script inside of the part, you're going to type script dot parent dot touched colon connect function hit so what this does is says whenever the part that the script is inside of is touched we are going to run the following block of code that is inside of these brackets and we are passing through the parameter hit so our hit variable will be whatever part it was that touched our main part so say the players left leg touches it and this will be equal to the player's left leg. So next thing we're going to do is say local player equals game dot players colon get player from character hit dot parent. Now we're going to say if player then so what this section does it says set the player variable equal to the game dot players and then get the player from the character so we're going to say all our body parts are inside of our character model. So if our left leg touches the part, hit.parent will be equal to the character model, and we're going to get the player from the character model. And then if it's a player, so if a player touches it, so we'll just set the ground or like some object that isn't a player touches it, this won't happen. But if a player touches the part, then local weapon you give equals now what you're going to say is type in the name of the item, exactly how it is in Explorer. So see how it is right here? I typed it exactly the same. Next, we're going to say, um, game.serverStorage, colon, find first child, weapon to give, colon clone dot parent equals player dot backpack so one thing we're going to do that finally is add a cooldown so it doesn't give the player a, like a million of the items we're touching at one time at the very top here above all this I'm just going to say local cooldown equals false then here and not cooldown. And after we give the item, we're gonna say right away. We're gonna say cooldown equals true. After we give the item, wait. And then however long you want them to have to wait between getting a new item, so say ten seconds. And then cooldown equals false. We'll set this to like two seconds. So how the script works. We're going to set our cooldown variable to false at the very beginning, so it does not on cooldown at the start. Then when the part is touched, do this block of code. If it is touched by a player, and the player in this part is not on cooldown, then set the cooldown to true. Find, give the name of the weapon to give. Give the player the weapon. Wait however long, and then set cooldown to false so that you can get the weapon again. So right now we will try this out.
All right, so now that we are in the game, if I walk into my part, you can see that I got the tool. I can now use the tool as I would normally. I walk through the part again, I'll get another one. And as you can see, the cooldown is working because I won't get it if I go back through immediately. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. That is how to make a tool giver part for your Roblox games. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment if you want to see more videos like this. Also join the Discord server, link to that will be in the description. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all next time.